One of the great things about the Google Suite for education is how easy it is for students and for teachers to collaborate, to share materials, to create materials, and disseminate the information within those materials. Student review is a great way of taking advantage of this collaboration and the sharing of information. What I'd like to do is talk about how we can use the Google Slides product to enhance the jigsaw process. So the first thing you need to do, as you may or may not remember from the jigsaw process, is you need to get your course content and you need to divide it into chunks. And those chunks could be by unit, by chapter, however you had your course set up. The next thing to do is then to get student groups and assign each group to its own chunk of the course. From there, get the groups to separate off and work on their own on creating a review Google Slides for their unit. Within this, you may actually want to divide those chunks into smaller pieces. So from chapters, you go to lessons, from units, you go to chapters, however it works. Here's where the first part of the collaboration comes in. Those smaller pieces then can get assigned to different students, and the students can work on their own to get one or two, maybe three slides together, not a lot of detail, but enough to provide good quality review for the upcoming assessment. And then the groups can, within themselves, do some peer evaluations. So once all the students have done the review materials for their lesson, the group that's in charge of that chapter would then get together and go through the materials. The sort of things that they could easily put into Google Slides are links to websites. Uh, they can embed videos, either from Google Drive or from YouTube or just short notes. Once those units or those chunks have then been peer edited so that they are really the best review of those units, the next thing is to reorganize your groups. So create a second set of groups where each of those units is represented. Within these new groups, again, a new Google Slides can be created and shared amongst the people in those groups so that they can bring the materials from their unit or their chunk of the course into the one larger Google Slides being created for each of those groups. So what you have at the end of this work is you have each group with a Google Slides that represents the entire course. If that's all the time you have, great, you can stop the process there knowing that each student has a full set of review. If you have the time, what you can also do is have class time not only for sharing the Google Slides, but each person does a small little presentation on their unit so that the information is not just there for the others in the Google Slide format, but it's also been presented to them verbally. Time permitting, the next thing you could do is actually shuffle the groups again. Again, so that each of the units is represented, but you've got different people together to go through the various summaries that they have from the course. So now you've got peer editing, but on a third level with new groups of students. They can go through the material, find omissions, find corrections, just do that last fine tuning. In the end, what you will end up having is a complete study package produced by each group. One could assume that after this much peer editing and this, this many times going through the notes, not only have the students learned about their own unit that they were initially assigned, but they also have an idea of the other units and they walk away with something tangible that they can study from. It also would provide you with six, five, four, however many groups or chunks you originally started with, sets of review materials that you can then post on your course site or in some way share with the other students. This is just one idea of how you can help students prepare for assessments using Google Slides collaboration and peer review. I hope this has given you some ideas of how to use the Google Suite and in particular Google Slides to help students collaborate and review for summative assessments. As always, if you have any questions or ideas about using Crescent technology, please don't hesitate to let me know and I really hope you have a great day.